What's up, YouTube's Patriox Gaming? I uh, bring you another little commentary. Well, because you can tell by the title, this one is uh, this is a little gameplay where uh, you see these guys are making me mad. Why? Because they were beating me. That's not supposed to happen. So after they started beating me, I was using a sniper. I'm pretty well. Oh, there was a few people, other people using a sniper, but. From side, I was the only one that was actually. I, I guess I wasn't even competing with a sniper in this gameplay. Well, anyways, they made me mad, so you'll see me switch to a different gun, which is actually my second favorite gun. Well, second favorite gun other than the DSR-50 and Ballista, because those are my two favorite guns in this game. But my second favorite gun in this game overall. So, uh, yeah, you'll see what it's like if you make me mad on Xbox Live and I switch weapons, which isn't a smart idea. So, what you should do when I, if you play against me online is just let me win. So, no, I'm just kidding. Do not do that. If you ever get to play against me, play your hardest. I mean, uh, if you do play against me, you don't expect much. I mean, I do win my fair share of games, but I'm not the best player in the world. I mean... I, I I go my hardest, well I know actually I don't, I, I don't really go my hardest any matches, I just happen to get good gameplays, but if you do happen to play against me and you beat me, don't make it a big deal, because I'm not that good of a player, like I said, I'm no face cross, I'm no shorty pain, I'm, I'm none of those really, really talented snipers, I'm just a normal average kid, I don't know how to trick shot or anything like that, so don't expect anything like that from me, I mean, I get lucky with these gameplays it just seems like things happen at the right time I don't that know if I'm doing anything right I just try you know so in this video I wanted to tell you guys about what settings I use on Call of Duty and I have an Xbox 360 and what Xbox live settings I use currently I'm using 14 sensitivity I uh, use that because I like the mobility I really can't switch down. I mean, for I, I don't really hard scope, so I don't switch down to make my sensitivity lower to hard scope. So all I do is pretty much quick scope. Uh, I'm I'm pretty I'm a pretty good quick scoper from uh, me medium to short range. I'm not really a long range quick scoper. I'm not I'm a pretty horrible hard scoper. I mean I'm not good at it. I wish I was. Uh, I know people hate on hard scopers in the game, but I think. Hard scoping can be a, a, is actually a really good talent to have uh, in this game. Um, I, I guys, I don't use vibration. I have vibration off because I don't like it when I shoot and there's uh, vibrations, you know, in the controller. Uh, it messes up your. If you need to take a second shot, it will mess it up uh, by the shaking. At least for me, it does. I, I so I don't use it. Uh, another thing, the Xbox Live settings that I use, I currently, I'm pretty sure using uh, Auto Aim, I think is on, and then Auto Center is off. Uh, may, auto Aim might be off too, um, I don't have my Xbox with me right now, so I can't tell you, I'm pretty, it's one of those two. I usually use Auto Aim on, but I change it every once in a while. Uh, my sensitivity for the Xbox Live settings is currently on medium. Uh, I found that to be the best. It seems like whenever I try to use uh, either the lower or higher, it messes up uh, my quick scoping to where it won't be. I'll, I'll feel like I hit someone, but it's like it doesn't register. And when I switch to medium, it does. It may just be my accuracy, but uh, I'm not really for sure. And then another thing with me telling you these settings, I'm just telling you these settings just so you will know. But when you're choosing your settings don't go by what any youtuber tells you to choose go by what you want to choose because your video uh, your sniping i mean or any type of gameplay is all up to you i mean uh you don't go by picking what other people want you pick what you want i mean it's it's you you're not don't try to copy other people that's the worst thing to possibly do after I started watching uh, a YouTuber Shorty Payne, or I guess he goes by Shorty SX, I tried to quickscope like him because he is probably the most dead-on accurate quickscoper I've ever seen. He doesn't like drag scope really at all. He's a perfect quickscoper. You see his Modern Warfare 3 and uh, Black Ops 2 videos, but it, it's a little bit. I mean, you, and then you watch Phase Cross and stuff like that. You want to be just like them. Don't do that. Go your own way. How do you think they did it? They didn't go by 
uh, looking at some other YouTuber trying to copy off them. They went by looking at those other YouTubers, mixing their own thing in, and then you go from there. Just go by trial and error, see what works and what doesn't, because you're not face cross, you're not shorty pain. You want to be your own good YouTuber or good Call of Duty player, you need to go by what you're going to do, you need to do what you do. I, well, I just thought of that from that Mountain Dew commercial with Lil Wayne, or Lil Wayne. But like I said, don't try to copy off people, that's the worst thing you could possibly do, trust me. Take it from someone with experience with that. It's not going to help you. Do not repeat. Do not try to copy. And another thing is, if you're watching someone with a PS3 uh, compared to Xbox, when I play it on PS3 compared to Xbox, it's a little bit different. So, uh, like, Shorty Payne plays on PS3. I play on Xbox. I, it's hard to play. Like, it seems like I have to steady aim to play like him or if I want to play like him. So, also go by that with console and stuff. But uh, mix in your own style to it, and I think that's the best way to do it. And this video is wrapping up, so rate, comment, subscribe, Patriarchs Gaming out.